Hi everyone! So, as you can probably tell from the title, we're going to be covering some pretty heavy stuff today. Uh, so if you came expecting a funny, happy Goombana video, that's not this one. But you can go here if you want to see a funny one. This one's kind of funny. But this video is going to get deep. So yes, I wanted to address a topic that I have been struggling with a lot recently. Um, now the point of this video is not to make you feel bad for me, it's not to guilt anyone who hasn't been able to hang out with me, nothing like that. I just want to address the monster that is loneliness um, that everyone faces every once in a while uh, to show that you know it's a universal feeling that everyone goes through and possibly offer some solutions to help alleviate it a bit. Furthermore, I think there's this huge problem where people feel like they need to hide the fact that they feel lonely. It's almost shameful. Which is so silly because it's a universal feeling that everyone gets, but no one wants to talk about. And this includes myself. I think it's all about trying to control how we're perceived on social media. We want our social media presence to be the best possible version of ourselves. We want people to see the pictures we post on Instagram while we're having a good time, or read our funny tweets and think, man, that person is so cool, they're always having a good time and I want to be around that. And posting something about how you're struggling with loneliness, that's not cool. That's not attractive. No one else is posting anything like that. Everyone else is happy all the time, so it must be something wrong with you, and that's the last thing you want to expose to everyone. I'm guilty of this train of thought. I'm susceptible to this. Even while making this video, every 10 seconds in the back of my mind, I think, but I don't want people to see this side of me. But it's giving in to that train of thought that perpetuates the problem. Because people's social media accounts are not representative of their lives or their range of emotions as human beings. One of my all-time favorite quotes is, we struggle with insecurity because we compare our behind the scenes to everyone else's highlight reel. And this is so true. So I made the video. Personally, I'm a very extroverted person and I'm a very dependent person. I get energy from being around people that I like and I thrive off of company and companionship. I don't like to be by myself a lot. Not a big fan of being alone. And honestly, when I moved here, it was a big goal of mine to learn how to be comfortable being by myself, and I think I've actually come pretty far in that. Uh, but there are still days where I am crippled by loneliness. And that's really, really not good, because when that happens, I feel almost paralyzed by it, and I lose the motivation to do anything. I'll know that I need to go do laundry, or go to the grocery store to get dinner, or even just get dressed, but while my head knows all of that, my heart and my body just say, no, you really should wait until you feel better. And that is an awful, awful cycle, because logically, I know what will probably help me feel better is to get up, get myself together, force myself outside, and to go be productive, but that is the exact thing that I keep myself from, convincing myself that what will really make me happier is if I have one more bowl of popcorn, or eat one more ice cream, or watch just one more video on YouTube. Surely that will make me feel better, and then once I do that, then I can go outside and do all that productive stuff, because I'll feel better. But of course, of course, that's not how it works, and I know exactly why these are my go-to actions. I get a temporary comforting feeling from enjoying junk food, of course, but I believe that I choose to delve deeper into the internet when I get lonely because, one, it provides almost an escape from reality and the feelings of loneliness that I'm afraid to face, and two, because when I'm watching the channels that I generally watch, it feels like I'm hanging out with a friend or friends and having a good time, and lessens the awareness of being alone. But when I'm done with my junk food, then I just feel bad that I caved into stress and ate poorly when I'm trying to eat healthier, so I feel worse in that regard. And once I've had my laughs from the video I've watched, I'm starkly aware of my solitude again, and I just crave more artificial social stimulation. So the process repeats itself, and that's a really dangerous trap to fall into. So I generally tend to get into these ruts when I have nothing to do and I'm housebound all day and none of my friends can hang out. And it extra sucks because I've been trying really hard ever since I moved to LA to build and maintain as many friendships as possible, um, even if that means you know going out of my comfort zone and asking someone I don't know very well to hang out. The problem comes in when my friends are either too busy with work, or they're away on vacation right now, or there's a time difference where we live so it's like too late to talk to them or too early to talk to them, 
or honestly I feel like just some acquaintances don't want to hang out because they're too scared of the possibility of awkwardness hanging out one-on-one -on -one with someone they don't know very well and I get that like I really do I used to feel that way all the time and I still do sometimes it can be really intimidating to be like hey I know I don't know you too well but you seem really cool and funny and I want to hang out with you but honestly, learning how to push through and do that anyway has helped me quite a bit because you gotta learn that there aren't really any harsh feelings when it's not return. It's almost like dating for friends. If it doesn't work out, it's just like, okay, cool, don't ask. As I said though, when you've exhausted all of your options of hanging out with friends, even though you really tried, it can make you feel even more alone. And then of course the cherry on top is that I'm not where I wanna be in my career, which is why I have so much downtime. And a lot of my friends are having great successes in their careers, which is why they're so busy. Anyway, it's all a recipe for disaster and for me just sitting at home being like, but I feel like it would be kind of a waste if I didn't try to offer up some solution or at least share the path that I'm taking. And mind you, everything is easier said than done. I am really bad at taking my own advice a lot of the time. But fight the voice in your head saying that you're alone and that no one ever feels this way. Everyone feels alone now and again. It's human nature, we're social animals. But at the same time, it'll pass. It's temporary. And no, that doesn't make it feel any less crappy when you're experiencing it. But the attitude I try to take when I approach it is, Ah, uh, crap. Okay, this feeling again. Um, I know this feeling. I've been through it before. Got through it. I'll do it again. It'll pass. It's not forever. And also, a lot of times this feeling is amplified by like 1,000 at night. I don't know why, but for some reason I feel like our emotions just like go crazy at night. And 99 out of 100 times I'll wake up the next morning and be like, oh, this isn't so bad. Yeah, I, I can handle this. It's all good. And also, don't worry about me. I'm perfectly fine. Again, I know this is temporary and I've been so fortunate. I did end up posting a Facebook status last night about my feelings and, you know, what I was going through. And I woke up today to an outpouring of love from my friends with texts and phone calls and messages. I was really, really touched by that. So thank you so much to all my friends who took the time to, to reach out. I really appreciate it. And uh, that was the motivation I needed to make this video and try to help someone else out. There's still things you can try other than just waiting it out or sleeping it off to try to get out of that rut a little quicker. First of all, as soon as you're done watching this video, get up. Close your computer, get up, and get to work. I heard once that when you're struck with motivation, you only have 10 seconds to act on it before your head starts to talk you out of it. So close your computer and get up. Drink a glass of water. Get dressed. Wear a pair of undies that you feel good in. Take a shower or just wash your face. If you haven't already, text or call one or more good friends to check in on them. If you have a good relationship with a parent or sibling, call them. They might naturally give you the encouragement you need just by hearing their voices. Family's pretty awesome like that. Do one thing, anything, that will take you one step closer to meeting your goals, health-wise or career-wise. Go outside. Seriously, it's really important to try to get yourself out of the house. Take a walk around the block and get some fresh air. Make yourself a nice, healthy meal and enjoy it. Most importantly, be proud of whatever you did manage to get done today. Tomorrow's a new day, a new start, fresh, clean slate, and we're both gonna rock it. Sound like a plan? All right, I'm gonna get out and go grocery shopping for dinner, and hopefully I will see you in my next more uplifting video. Bye, guys.